is having a lovely day today. For today's video, I am doing my favorite products of 2015. So this is not just a December's favorite, this is a 2015 favorites. I know I don't do monthly favorites very often just because I find I don't use too many new products each month that I really, really like to mention. But I figure let's do one for the year. I can do that. So not all of these products have came out in 2015. Some of them have. Um, it's just products that I have started using using in 2015 and ones that I just really really love not even love just like, like Continually repurchase them and yeah, just like completely fallen in love with them I've only included 10 products because I didn't want this video to get too you know out of hand and too long um, So I do have a lot more uh, favorites. These are just kind of my cult favorites So the first one is the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray Absolutely love this. I used to use the D Slick one, but I just I just like this version better. I find um, it's a little bit expensive, but it does last you uh, quite a while. I just buy this from Sephora, um, especially with the foundation that I use right now, which I will be mentioning. Um, I find that it just really, really sets it, and it doesn't make my skin, you know, look as shiny as soon as you know not using this. So I really, really like this, and will continue to use it in the future. Next product is the foundation that I've been using for about half of this year, but I'm on my second bottle now. Um, this is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stand Place Makeup in the color 1C1 Cool Bone, which I believe is the lightest shade. Um, I really, really like this. I used to use the MAC uh, Studio Fix Foundation, I believe, in NW10. Um, I like that foundation. I just find that this stays on my face a lot longer, and it's not making my skin look oily and shiny and gross. Um, yeah, I just think this stays in place, as the name says, a lot better. It's a little bit more money, but I find I don't go through this as quickly. Another thing that I really, really like is my MAC pump fits on the bottle, and I believe it was Sophia Storer, I'll link her channel down below, um, that told me about to use the MAC pump on the bottle, which I really, really appreciate because then I would have to, you know, dab it in my hand every single time. This makes it a lot easier. So thank you, Sophia, for letting me know of that, you know, trick. Next thing is another MAC product. This is one that I picked up in the summer. This is an eyeshadow. This is all that glitters. So it is, I really, really like this color. So that's what it looks like. It is kind of a light rose gold, very, very shimmery. This is a... Velux Pearl, if anyone knows much about, if you know much about the uh, MAC formulations of their eyeshadow, so it applies, it looks very shimmery, but it applies almost metallic-y, very smooth, you know, it's very creamy, really long wearing, I will definitely purchase this again when this one runs out. Next one is an eyebrow product, this is one that I got from Topbox, and this is pretty fantastic, because I only pay like $13.50 a month for Topbox, I believe. And this is a full size product. This is the Benefit Gimme Brow. That's what it looks like. This is for light uh, hair. It kind of just looks like a brow mascara. You know, it's just a tinted. I really like this. Um, I'm using, I use this right now, but I also have the uh, Benefit Browsings, which is the little compact that has the powder and the tinted brow gel um, that you have to brush on. I just find this looks a lot more natural. I find you don't overdo this as much as with the compact and it takes like half the time. So I definitely, definitely will be purchasing that again. Next two items that I have are both MAC lipsticks, and if you've been watching my videos for, you know, any amount of time, you know that I'm obsessed with MAC lipsticks. This is one that I got, this is my most recent purchase, I believe I got it, same time I got my All That Glitter Shadow. I think it was July for my birthday. This is a cream sheen formula, and this is Peach Blossom. I have it on my lips right now. But that is what it looks like in the tube. It's just a nudie pink. I know it says peach, but I find it's more like a pinky peach than just a straight up peach. Next one is a very popular shade for 2015. I got this, I want to say in the spring sometime. This is Brave and it is a satin. This one's a little bit darker and again, not as shiny as a uh, peach Blossom. Yes, that's the color. Peach Blossom. This is definitely more cool. This is more like a dusty rose. I really like this. Yeah, it's a little bit matter. It's not matte completely because it is a satin finish, but it's definitely not glossy. Next two products are very similar. They're both eyeshadow palettes, and they're both in their packaging because I'm like obsessed with keeping really cute packaging. 
These are, they didn't come out um, this year. I think they came out in 2013 and 2014. And the next palette just came out this month, which I ordered and which is like, should be arriving at my house in a few days, which I am, oh my goodness, so excited about. These are, you're probably wondering, what the heck are you talking about, Allison? These are the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palettes. This is the original one, and this is the semi-sweet. This is the second one. I'm going to be getting the Bonbons palette soon. So this is what the packaging looks like, because I think the boxes are just too cute to throw out. That's what the back looks like. I will show you the first one. I think these shadows are just so pigmented. The packaging is just really nice and durable. It's a magnetic uh, closer, which I really, really like. And... Uh, yeah, I think also the assortment of colors and finishes are just, you know, phenomenal. Only thing I don't like about the first one is that all the names are written on this, you know, cellophane insert. But you have a mirror in the front, which I'm going to try to cover. So that's what it looks like. And I also like how you have two shades that are bigger because, you know, those are your highlight shades. I find, and you're gonna, I find I use those the most. I feel like I get more of that. That's what the first one looks like. I find this one is a little bit more cool toned than the second one. The second one is definitely a warm palette. That's the first one. And I believe these retail for $59 at Sephora Canada. I know that's what the Bon Bon's palette uh, retails for. This is what the outside of the second one looks like. And this one, they listened to all the complaints from the first one and didn't insert, you know, the cellophane and put the names right in the packaging, which I like. So this is a lot more oranges and warm browns. And I do really like this one still. I find that there's more of a shade variety in the first one though, but I still really like this and I'm actually wearing it on my eyes today. Um, a lot of people don't like this palette, but I, I like it. I just like the first one better, I think. So definitely if you're in search of uh, palettes, definitely scoop those up. And another thing that's fantastic is they smell like chocolate. It's fantastic. Last two products, thankfully, because I'm getting a sore throat from talking for so long. This is the Becca. I'm sure everyone has this, or most people have it or know about it. This is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the Jaclyn Hill Shade Champagne Pop. Got this in July for my birthday. I bought it for myself. This is what it looks like. It is super, super creamy, pigmented, and shimmering like it is a strong highlight this is not a subtle highlight at all it looks kind of i don't know how to explain it it's like rose gold but a little bit more gold than rose if that makes any sense it doesn't appear this bright on my skin thankfully because this is just too much for my fair skin but like i am like the fairest of the fair and it looks good on me and it looks good on someone with much darker skin, which I like. So it's kind of a universal shade. I've got it on right now. I don't know if you can see it. The lighting's not fantastic in here. Um, but yeah, I really like it. And I find since it's so pigmented, you don't need to use much. So it's gonna last me quite a while. Last product is a little bit boring, but I know 2015 was pretty much the year of contouring. So I don't know how many, but like just tons and tons of contouring palettes came out this year. So of course, you know, Allison being obsessed with makeup, I had to, you know, buy one. And a thing that I found really hard and kind of frustrating was, I'm so pale and all the contour palettes that I wanted, they included so many shades, but most of them were too dark for me to use. So it didn't really make sense for me to spend, you know, 50 or 60 bucks on, you know, this gorgeous palette where I could only use one or two shades. So, this wasn't cheap, but I got a little bit of a smaller palette that just has two shades in it that, you know, work for my skin tone and I can wear, you know, both of the shades. This is the Makeup Forever Sculpting Kit in the shade 2. And what I like about this is it is nice and cool toned. It's fair enough for me, I find. So the one on the left is my contour shade and I actually have it on today. It's just nice and subtle. I don't like to do too harsh of a contour. I just don't think it looks good on my fair skin. It can appear muddy really quickly. But what I really like about the shade is it is cool. You know, it's not warm at all and it's matte. The worst thing that I think for a contour shade is for it to be super, super warm and shimmery because that's really, truly not a contour shade. Then that's a bronzer and then you should be applying it all over your face. In my opinion, you know, do it, do whatever you want. I'm not telling you how to apply makeup, but just for me, I think that my skin is more suited to cool tones for a contour. Um, the one, I guess, on your left is 
a much lighter shade, and this is a matte highlight. I don't use this shade that much just because it is matte. Um, when I highlight, I like to have a little bit of shimmer. So if I'm going to be using a highlighter on my cheekbones, I'm going to be rocking my MAC Light Scapade or my Becca Opal or my Becca Champagne Pop, which I just uh, mentioned. This, uh, the lighter shade in here, I like to just use to set my under eye concealer. I find it just really brightens up that eye area and it also, you know, locks my uh, concealer in place so that it doesn't crease because that's an issue that I have and I think probably a lot of... Uh, people have with their concealer. Um, so yeah, I really like this uh, palette and I think this was 55 or $60. So it was a little bit pricey, but it's so pigmented and creamy, you don't need to use much. So this is gonna last me forever. So guys, that was the 10, uh, 10 of, I guess, my cult status uh, products of 2015 that I just absolutely am so happy that I have and will definitely be keep Repurchasing, um, I'm very uh, excited to see what 2016 brings uh, for me in terms of makeup, obviously. Um, if you guys have tried any of these products or if you have, you know, your own list of, you know, cult status uh, products, feel free to, you know, leave me a comment down below, below telling me about them because I'm always excited trying out new products. If you guys like this video, please make sure to like it. It really, really helps me out. Um, again, follow me on Instagram and Twitter and like me on Facebook if you haven't already. I'd really, really appreciate that. And if you have any video requests for future videos, please private message me or leave me a comment down below. Again, really appreciate that as well. And I hope everyone has a fantastic day. Uh, tomorrow is New Year's Eve, so yeah, let me know what you're doing tomorrow if you're doing anything exciting. As I've said before, I don't think I'm doing anything. I'm probably watching videos and hanging out with my husband and my dogs, which is fine. Completely content with doing that. So, uh, yeah, I hope everyone has and is having a great, uh, I guess, holiday week if you're off of work and school. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye. So Tresemme kindly sent me these products to try out and review, um, so therefore I didn't have to pay for them at all. However, this video is not sponsored at all. They're not paying me to give a uh, certain review for you guys. So the only thing